add to those moments in history is what it felt like for Sandoval for for from Tom's point of view. Now that one I think is very arrogant to put yourself on that level. Um I'm not offended by any of this. Like people are outraged and housewives are doing videos. Oh my God. Look, the guy is basically, what he's trying to say is we, it was weird to him that it became this unbelievable pop culture moment that in his mind, he equates to these other things. Okay. Completely racially insensitive. Um, Why his publicist didn't, I, I cannot even believe what the fuck is the point of hiring a publicist? These people are paid. And now he's made a statement and, you know, where is, where is, first of all, I would love to hear more people from the cast. I'd love to hear their reactions. Katie, of course, has, you know, spoken out as she often does, but, you know, we have Jax has been fired and rehired. Kristen Doty has been fired and rehired. Stassi's fired. It's not exactly the same thing, but isn't it like, where where's bravo's outrage i know that they're they made a call oh, behind the it, scene it's not no come so. on you can't equate it to fine they you know you can't equate it what they did to and me. and stassi accused a black woman of theft Correct. that is way different he was he the guy is not a lyrical I'm, and look i'm not defending what he said it was really in poor taste and the fact that he didn't recognize immediately and go, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, sorry, I don't want to be equating myself to George Floyd in any way, shape, or form or what I went through. I mean, maybe he's that racially dumb. I don't know. But I mean, it's totally different than what Jax and all of them did. I mean, they really went after someone of color personally that was innocent. I mean, that's like way different. This guy's equating, you know, this guy has such an ego, Tom Sandoval, that he thinks he's on the same level as these moments in history. Couldn't and, he have compared himself to like Taylor and Travis Kelsey in the Eras tour for the takeover of the NFL? Yes. Wouldn't like that anything, have been better? anything else. I yeah. mean, I'm just saying. I, I would not fire him over this. I wouldn't. Well, guess I, what? I don't think it's what? Overnight ratings are over 1 million. So he's not being fired. You're so don't you worry about that. Don't there you, you worry. It. I found it more. Co- I guess a weird juxtapose that last night's episode of Vanderpump Rules was really almost about Tom Sandoval's, you know, suicidal thoughts. That's really what it was about. And then like today he makes this huge statement, apologizes, and now people are calling for him to be fired. And I'm sure if anything, he's probably feeling like, oh, am I worth it? You know? This ain't going to help his uh, popularity with the, the public now. Gertie from Miami is very upset with him. As she should be. And a lot of people are just, uh, where's Lala's? Where's Lisa? What does Lisa Vanderpump think about this? When Lisa Lisa, goes out uh, today and she, that Bentley pulls up, when that Bentley pulls up to Tom Tom and she gets out, the paparazzi are there waiting for her because she has to go check the registers and see what the overnight sales were of uh, drinks. I mean, this is the first question that she's going to be asked. I mean, when Ken goes to, you know, the polo lounge for, you know, brunch with uh donut, the new donut that we met last night, they're going to be waiting for him. Like what's get a better, have your statement ready guys. Yeah, It's an easy statement. Tom Sandoval made a very foolish, stupid statement. He should never have said that and equated himself anywhere in the category of especially George Floyd and, and even OJ Simpson, two innocent people were murdered. That was horrendous. Two beautiful kids lost their mother. That he shouldn't no. That's all they need to say. It was dumb. He apologized. And we appreciate his apology. That's it. Right? What do you think? You think I'm way off? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think what I would say. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think what I would say. You know, Tom it's Sandoval. Tom Sandoval is often sticking his foot in his mouth. It was a very poor analogy. And I'm quite taken aback by the choice of his words. Tom Sandoval needs Period. to pull up Beyonce and Jay-Z. Stop doing press. Write your Stop own narrative. Press. Well. Beyonce does zero press. I mean, you know what? If I were like a Beyonce 
I mean, Taylor Swift doesn't really do that much. Like, oh. why, like, why would you, like, truly, why would you do press? Like, Courtney Cox, Jennifer Aniston, when you're making $20 million a year in residuals just from friends, then you have your Super Bowl ad with David Schwimmer. Like, will you, why would you ever do press? I understand why housewives do press. I understand why, you know, most working actors do press and come on behind the velvet rope. Why would you do press if you were like anyone from Friends or Beyonce or, man, we have really got it off track from the Vanderpump Rules recap. Yeah, gotta go. Yeah, we we'll should go back. Um, I wouldn't. <sighs> and the two smartest people right now doing it are the Kelsey brothers on their own podcast where they're making ca- insane money and controlling their own narrative. I would not do any. I, I don't even think that it's beneficial to do press if you're a medium sized celebrity, like traditional, the old, like it's just not. Write your own narrative. Stop Write your own narrative. And let me just make it obvious. I'll pick up on a point you said. Yeah, behind the velvet rope. I'm media. So I'm not your friend. So don't call me upset. Don't text me afterwards. I don't want to be your fucking friend. I want to be left alone and I want to do my job. The people I have that I'm friends with in this industry, it's organic. Like, Shocker, I did my job. So yeah, I agree with you. It's media. That's what the media does. Look, we all have a mutual understanding. When you come on, you're going to plug your stuff. I'm going to ask you some pretty intrusive questions about what this audience wants to hear. You're going to get to plug your new project, which no one necessarily is that excited about, but let's get it out there. And you got to answer my, it's right. And then we shake hands and we're cordial and we're friendly and we don't have anything against each other, but we do have different motives during a recorded session. That is how it is on a red carpet. That's how it is anywhere. That's the job, right? Yeah, yeah. He fucked yeah. up. He apologized. Um, if we've learned anything from being canceled, stop talking about it. You fucked up. You apologize. Move forward. Keep moving forward with your life. Your fans are going to be your fans regardless. Everyone's going to hate you for a week, and then they'll be on to hating somebody else. Yeah. They should just give Tom, like, just lean into the hate. Just Bravo, give him like a dating show. I know he's dating this new model. Just give Tom like a dating show. Schwartzy be on it. Put Schwartzy on there as like the BFF. And just do a bachelor ripoff with the douche and put like 25 girls in a house that actually want to date this. Make it like, like, what is it? Like flavor of love. Like, let's go a little trashy and let's have like real douche type girls that are like we don't care that he's a douche like we're on board he's hot like a little bit of fame is everything that we're looking for here and uh just let's lead into it let's have a bunch of groupies from the concerts in the house fighting for tom's love i bet you that'll be hate watched pretty high there i would think so too and i am i don't know why I, i feel like katie malone uh maloney loves still is obsessed with tom schwartz i have no idea why Everybody is like, Tom Schwartz, what do you think of Tom Sandoval's comments? It's like, Tom Schwartz doesn't control what the guy, like he's already said, I'm going to be no. friends with him. Like, why the fuck are you guys still asking? Like, according to last night's episode, this, Tom Schwartz, they're best friends. Like, I mean, what, why do we care what Tom Schwartz thinks? Like, Tom Schwartz is the guy's babysitter. It's just so weird to me. As he said last night, Lala, he's family. He'll always be family. And Lala understands. These are families, guys. And by the way, and, okay, what did you think of last night's episode? Because I have to say, I do, I do. So the whole theme of last night, of course, was like Lisa Vanderpump, the 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 queen kingmaker that she is, essentially asking them all to back off. Like suicide's very, you know, she never thought that it would ever, ever, ever impact her family. She lost her brother. I get how emotional it is, and she's saying to Lala, to uh, Sheena, like, I'm 